Hello everyone, it's Ken here. Today I want to show you how to create your own macro in the driver software for the SK61 mechanical keyboard. To enter the macros interface, you want to click on macros in the top menu. They have a whole lot of preset macros for various different games. Uh, if you do play these games, you can check out what they have. But if you don't, I think it's more useful to create your own macro. And you can do that by using any of the categories here, but I like to just create my own category. Just say my own. Confirm, and you can see a new category has been created. So essentially a macro is basically just a sequence of key presses that is automated. So before we create a macro, we want to know what we want first. And depends on what you do, you might have various different macros that's very good for what you do, it saves a lot of time for you. So I'll show you how to create one that's useful for me, and you'll be able to create what you need using the same method. And what I want this macro to do is with a single key press, I want it to show my email signature, this one. So I want to create a macro that can type all of that while I only have to press one key. So now we know what we want. In order to create a macro, just click on this plus sign over here. And I'm gonna give it a name, just say signature. And now it's created this macro. And what we need to do is start recording what we want this macro to do. Now we can press this to record, this triangle over here. But before we do that, I want to change this delay mode to minimum delay. The reason is if we leave it at default recording delay, it will record your typing delay into the macro as well. So I normally put it on minimum delay. There's a third option for you to choose the delay that you want, but normally minimum delay works really well. So now to start recording this macro, I just click on the recording triangle over here and I can start recording. And basically I just type out the signature exactly how I would type it usually. And once I'm done, I just click on the stop sign and then click on save. And now the macro has been made, but we have to assign it to a key on the keyboard. So we go back to the configuration and let's say I wanna assign this key to the macro that I just created. Remember, you can't use the standard profile to assign macro, you gotta use one of the layers or the driver. So let's choose the layer one profile. So first I select the macro that I want. That's the one that we just created. Click on this key and I click on view and I click on save and apply. Okay, now we're back to the notepad again, and let's see if the macro that we just created works. Right, here we go. And it did, perfect. So with just one key press, it gives me the whole signature. Let's do that again. Excellent. Now you know how to create a macro, so you can start to create something that's useful for you. That brings us to the end. Thank you for watching.